if he gets these votes, and I am now closer to saying that he will than I certainly was 24 hours ago, you know what he's done? He's cut a deal with Rogers on defense, and he's cut a deal with defense appropriations. Those two members were absolutely anti-Jordan until he made them promises. Now, how are those promises going to play out with his crazy caucus? So once again, you find promises being made that will be hard to be kept within the, the, the chaos of the Republican caucus. I don't know how long he'll be speaker. You know, we may be back here again um, in another month. Uh, or two months and talking about him being removed. Uh, they have a huge schism in their party. I think I can unite the conference. I think I can go tell the country what, what we're doing and why it matters to them, and we'll talk about that. Can you get I'm, in, I, I'm in, I think so, yes. I feel very confident in that. I didn't know they had concerns. Many of them have been around a long time and had concerns about past votes. And I think he satisfied their curiosity about how he was going to vote going forward. My main concern is as an American, we believe in the rule of law and fairness. And we had a small group of folks who broke our rules and got rid of Kevin. And then a small group broke our rules and blocked Steve. Now they want us to follow the rules and support Jim. And I don't like that. I don't play a game where the other guy can break the rules. You're going to oppose Jordan on multiple ballots, to be clear. Well, we'll take it one at a time, but I'm a no. House Republicans now have a choice. There are only two paths forward. On the one hand, House Republicans can continue to triple down on the chaos, the dysfunction, and the extremism that has been visited upon the American people as a result of the House Republican Civil War. On the other hand, traditional Republicans can break away from the extremism, partner with Democrats on an enlightened bipartisan path forward so we can end the recklessness and get back to doing the business of the American people.